Grand Rising Aquarius. Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is thriving, shining in their light, doing great things with themselves and their lives. Sending you guys good, positive, loving energy. Take that, take that energy. We're going to get started with your reading. Your reading is going to be... Um, What's your, the reading is going to be about your current energy. So we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you today. And we're just going to get into that. So I'm going to keep this video short for you guys as well. My last Aquarius video was an hour long, and I know not everybody has the, all that time to sit there and listen to an hour long reading, so I'm going to make this reading short for you guys. Spirit, guardians, ancestors, I ask that you protect me as I read into this energy spirit. Allow me to receive these messages clearly and guide me through reading these messages. Spirit, thank you. Spirit, what is Aquarius's current energy? What is Aquarius's current energy, Spirit? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. So you guys... So you guys are working on something that could be um, working on your finances, that could be working on your healing, working on yourself to become a better version of yourself, you know, or it could be, like I said, you could be working on your finances. Um, I don't know why I just heard build a house. I, I don't know. That just came up to my, that just, I just heard that in my mind. So some of you are thinking about building a house. Or if you guys are building a house in another country somewhere. So, let's see what else it has for you guys. We have the King of Cups. This came out in the last reading I did for you guys, too. King of Cups. I just get that somebody is has taken their power back. Yup, somebody has taken their power back and they're moving on to something better for themselves. So you guys have taken your power back from this toxic situation that you were dealing with in the past and now you're moving on to something better you are off to better things you learned your lesson you learned you learned your lesson you're moving on you're picking yourself up you're the king you're the queen your cup is full aquarius these thirsty motherfuckers man they want to steal your water they want to steal your gifts. They want to sabotage your success. It's not happening. And you guys caught that. You guys caught that. That's why you guys left this person behind. What else for Aquarius? Justice! Ah! Yes! Uh, okay. The bottom of the deck, you have Page of Cups. Um, so some of you could have been dealing with somebody who is younger than you, or you could be, or you just could have been dealing with somebody who's very childish, very immature, and they were fake as hell. But wow, okay. So here's what I'm seeing. Aquarius, so now that you guys moved on from this 
um, toxic situation that you guys were dealing with in the past, now that you left and you realized, you know, you recognized your worth and you're like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be dealing with this. I don't have to deal with this. A parasitic being cannot go sit with the king and queens. No. But now that you moved on, the universe um, has taken justice into their own hands. Now, you are going to be receiving, there's going to be justice. You're going to be receiving what's rightfully yours, and this person will be facing very bad consequences. Okay? This person thought that they was going to get away with doing you grimy i don't think so but you guys are on fire you guys are on your journey to becoming better you guys are creating you guys are shining you guys are shining that is very beautiful let's see messages We have Broomstick, Clarence. Hi Aquarius, so I didn't get a chance to say this in your reading when I recorded it, so I'm saying this now. Clarence could be an ancestor of yours that's watching over you and guiding you. For others, this could be someone who left you feeling heartbroken and betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, took advantage of you, lied to you, stole from you. For some of you, this could be a lover. Um, some of you could have a family with somebody of that name. Or maybe you have a son with a person to that name. Take it however it resonates. Um, okay, let's see. Moving on. The next card. So, you guys... So a lot of you guys are clearing your space, clearing your energy. A lot of you guys are cutting people off that are toxic and that are lowering your vibration or you feel drained after being around them. You're cutting those people off. You're, you're getting rid of stuff. You're decluttering things at home. You're getting rid of stagnant energies. And that is so beautiful because getting rid of things that no longer serves us we're making space for receiving our blessings and gifts. So that's beautiful. Um, next we have, um, what does it say? It says, scaring mirror, shadow. So I'm getting two messages with this card. Um... Some of you guys are doing shadow work. You guys have gotten started with doing shadow work. Um, I don't know if you guys heard that term before, but shadow work basically is where we face the deepest, darkest parts of ourselves, where we face our traumas, feelings that we've um, repressed. So... That's what shadow work is. That's very beautiful. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. That's going to help you majorly. You already know that. But you already know that though because you already started doing that. Um, for some of you, your spirit guides are saying that you need to do shadow work. You need to do shadow work um, in order for you to become the greatest version of yourself and really recognizing your full potential you need to do your shadow work you need to face that 
side of you that you've repressed. Now, the other message that I'm getting, and I, I don't want to spook anybody. I don't want to spook anybody, but and and there's no need to be spooked about this. But there's um, I'm getting that somebody they sent like some kind of um, energy, like some kind some kind of spirit to spy on you and to like to spy on you and to cause you frustration cause you frustration and I don't know confusion like I don't know for some of you I don't know if you've been experiencing things going missing or you forgetting where you're placing things and you're going like crazy looking for it and it's just like i don't know if you guys have been experienced that but that could be um that's like one of your signs that energetically somebody sent something to you so somebody from your past sent this spirit to go spy on you and um cause you some kind of disturbance um so if you want to get rid of this that was sent to you i recommend you get a black candle you could, it could be a seven day candle whatever you like whatever you prefer get a black candle and pray to your ancestors spirit guides um or if you work with a deity pray to them and banish 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 him banish the spirit Tell the ancestors to banish, get rid of any evil eye, dark magic that was sent your way. Banish any um, spirits that were sent your way to spy on you and to um, bring disturbance to your life. Burn a black candle. Make a spiritual bath. Take a spiritual bath. Okay. Now, what other messages do you have? My lovely Aquarius. Staff, stability. So I just wanted to add on to the stability card, Aquarius. I see a lot of success. In whatever it is you choose to do in life um, I see you guys creating the life of your dreams so be ready for that so when people hear about how good you're doing Aquarius they're going to want to come back into your life and you cannot give them access to your energy you cannot repeat the same cycles anymore, Aquarius. Um, I'm getting... I'm trying to see if, if I can get any other messages, but... What I got, and I'm going to clarify just to be sure if there is any more messages, but... um, With the stability card, I'm getting that... Some of you are doing like grounding work, like you're grounding your energy. If you're not doing that already, Spirit is recommending, telling you to ground yourself. It's going to make a huge difference in your energy. It's very important. You guys have to make time for this. This is self-care. This is part of you becoming the greatest version of yourself. This is part of your healing. So... Yeah, make some time to do some grounding meditation. If the weather's beautiful outside, go hug a tree. Go put your hands and feet in the dirt and just ground yourself. Okay. And for others, I see a lot of stability coming in for you guys. A lot of stability. A lot of money, a lot of opportunity flowing your way so protect your energy because jealous envious people will try and sabotage this this fell out from Fami familiar card oh wow look at this 
guardian and it says familiar so this message is clear as day your ancestors aquarius they're watching over you your ancestors got your back they're protecting you they're protecting you from any evil eye they're protecting you from black magic that sent your way they're protecting you okay they're protecting you you're divinely guided talk to them okay talk to your ancestors okay they're there to guide you and protect you and they are with you okay you are protected by your spirit guides and ancestors okay aquarius so like they're gonna let you know they're gonna expose everyone's true colors to you aquarius they're protecting you especially because you got a lot of opportunities and money coming your way and they're like hold up we gotta protect our aquarius because they're about to receive um big blessings they're about to receive major blessings they're about to a lot, I'm getting that a lot of people are going to be um, jealous about your success. So please protect your energy, Aquarius. Okay, don't be telling anybody your ideas or plans. No, which I don't, that's not what I'm getting that you guys are doing. But I don't know how to, I have to, that, I have just had to say that for somebody. But you guys are divinely protected by the divine. As you can clearly see, this person that you've dealt in the past is about to receive karma. Your ancestors, your ancestors, the divine does not play about their chosen ones, okay? They do not play about their chosen ones. No, they do not. Um... All right, Aquarius. Now, before I end um, your reading, before I end your reading, Aquarius, I'm going to ask Spirit to answer a question that you've been thinking about. I don't know what the question is. I'm just going to ask Spirit to answer that for you, and I'm going to read what the answer is. This is going to resonate with somebody so before I end the reading, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Aquarius, the question that you've been asking yourself, the question that you've been asking spirit, this is your answer. Yes, whoever hurts you, they're going to receive their karma and they're going to feel, they're going to feel it 10 times worse than what they made you feel the pain that they caused you they're gonna feel that same pain 10 times worse okay and this life nobody gets away with hurting anybody the universe does not work that way when you do something to somebody else you're doing that to yourself that's why it's very important that we vibrate we remain on our vibrating love vibrating on our highest frequency because whatever we do, whatever harm we do to somebody else, we do that to ourselves. That comes back to us and it comes it comes back to you ten times harder. 
So yes, your enemies in the past, whoever hurt you, took advantage, took advantage of your kindness because you Aquarius are really sweet, kind, caring souls, and you guys are so loving and caring. And they took your kindness for weakness, Aquarius. They thought they could take advantage of you and your love and how sweet you were. And they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up because <clears throat> you are a chosen one. You have gifts. And you were sent here to help. To help humanity in your own unique way. To make this world a better place. Um... Spirit, this is the world card. So this is confirming to you. You are protected. The universe, a source, they see all, they see everything, and they seen what these people did to you, Aquarius. So like I said, they're not gonna get away with that. Cards, the cards don't lie. They're not going to get away with that. And spirit is like, we want to, spirit's like, we, we want to reward you. We want to, we're going to reward you. Ace of Cups. Yes, Aquarius, you are going to receive that thing that you always wanted. You are going to be receiving a big, major wish fulfillment, Aquarius. You are the universe, the divine is giving you this. The divine is rewarding you with what's the word? What is the word I am looking for? Spiritual inheritance. You are very powerful spiritual beings, Aquarius. If you guys didn't know, some of you guys could uh, are from a royal bloodline. Um also, I'm getting that you guys are high-ranking in the spiritual realm. Some of you are high-ranking in the spiritual realm. You guys are very, oh, you guys are very, you guys are very loved. Maybe there's somebody named Barry. Maybe you guys have an ancestor named Barry. I just said Barry, so I don't know if anybody's ancestors or, I don't know, friend, they know, named Barry or maybe a spirit guide. I don't know, but that name came out. Um... If that resonates, please let me know in the comments below. But you guys are going to receive a major wish fulfillment. Yes, this is your confirmation, Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. Continue to move forward. Continue focusing on yourself. Continue being you. You are great. You are magnificent. You are lovely. You are powerful. You are authentic. You are inspiring, Aquarius. Look. That's the Ten of Cups. A celebration. Celebrating happiness. A major wish fulfillment. Major wish fulfillment. Um, major, major wish fulfillment. Um, some of you might come across. Um, some of you guys might come across your your twin flame if you guys haven't if you guys are not already with your twin flame you guys are going to meet them but if you guys are you guys are going to be celebrating you're going to be celebrating with your loved ones this big huge wish fulfillment be ready to receive aquarius be open to receive be patient because this is going to come in divine timing okay but it's coming this is your clap this is your confirmation this is your confirmation, Aquarius. Okay. So just be patient. It's going to come to you in divine timing. It's already yours. It's already yours. This big wish fulfillment that you've been praying for, that you've been thinking about, that you've been asking spirit or yourself, am I going to be able to get this? Am I going to get this? The answer is yes. Okay. Yes. Spirit's like... Yes, you are going to get this, Aquarius. It's just going to come to you in divine timing, okay? So. So what a beautiful reading, Aquarius. 
all right my loves so i'm gonna end your reading here um sending everybody peace love and blessings um enjoy the rest of your day stay blessed <laughs> bye